What's going on? My name is FreerunnerX10 and welcome to a brand new video. So today, I thought I'd take a look at a Steam Early Access game. Now this is a multiplayer online first person shooter. It goes by the name of Line of Sight. It's formerly known as Combat Arms Line of Sight. So what is Combat Arms? Well, right now Combat Arms is a free to play online first person shooter. It came out in 2008 in North America and then was released to Europe in 2009, in 2010 was released in Brazil, and in 2012 released in Russia, and gained a lot of traction, became very popular, and a lot of people would play that as their go-to free-to-play game. It had a lot of unique features, and it does things which are now standard in most free-to-play online first-person shooters, gun customization, character customization, lots of uh, in-game rental weapons which cost GP, which is gold points. And then obviously you've got the microtransaction currency which you can spend on guns which tend to be a little bit on the overpowered side. They're, they're buffed more over their GP counterparts which is obviously what the people who play for free can only get. Now Line of Sight at one point, like I said, was going to be called Combat Arms Line of Sight. It was going to, I guess, turn Combat Arms into a franchise. It was going to be the sequel to the original Combat Arms but then was later dropped by Nexon the publisher. They basically decided they weren't going to publish the game anymore and the reason being was because there's a huge outcry from the community who basically said, and this was the general consensus from the Combat Arms community, it's not Combat Arms. As a game it doesn't feel like Combat Arms, it feels like a different game, we don't like it. So Nexon basically just decided to drop publishing of Line of Sight, um, they basically was like, well, the developers are still probably going to develop the game but we're not publishing them and they're going to find their own way and it turns out they did find their own way they used steam in order to get their game published steam is a great tool for developers uh, of any kind of stature which is kind of a problem for steam because you have people who make asset games with store-born assets and somehow manage to get their games greenlit on steam and people will actually pay for them and, and somehow they're on Steam, which is ridiculous. But this game, Line of Sight, when it was Combat Arms Line of Sight, it was actually a decent first-person shooter, a decent free-to-play online first-person shooter. And now that this game is in Steam Early Access, it's been changed to a point where it's kind of, for me, unrecognizable. The gameplay that I enjoyed while playing Combat Arms Line of Sight was fast-paced, fun, and didn't feel clunky. It was a little bit weird to start off with, but I got used to it and it felt really good. But for some reason, they've tweaked this game and they're trying to make it an esports friendly game. That seems to be the go to thing now for most games. It's, it has to cater to esports, which is not a good thing for most games. Most of the people who are going to play this game are going to be casual players. It's not a game which is going to attract a load of people to play competitively. Most of the people who are going to play this game are going to play it because they want to play it because it's a casual game and they probably enjoyed the Combat Arms line of sight closed beta. And I'm sorry but if you're someone who enjoyed the closed beta, the game's changed that much that it feels like a different game. The core elements of the game, the special ability power-ups you've got like where you can fire a, a fireball at someone or call in a, a satellite strike which uh, decimates people or a tornado of electricity, electricity storm tornado, so many crazy power-ups that you can use which you can charge. They're still there. It still looks like line of sight, although for some reason looks a little bit worse than what I remember even when I've set it to the high preset. But for some reason they've tweaked the, the gunplay that it just feels so horrible. And I feel really bad for saying that. Like, that's my personal opinion. I've, I feel that the gameplay just feels so off from what it was originally. And that's why I don't like it. A lot of people will be like, well, I like it. I've been supporting this game, blah, 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 blah. Honestly, I'm not saying that it's a really bad game because it's okay. But it just was so much better how it was. One problem that this game has right now is that nobody's playing it. Nobody's playing it. Only the people who are hardcore fans who are following this game uh, through every stage of development are actually people who play the game. In fact, it's barely surpassed 500 concurrent players at one time. If you look at steamcharts.com, the game's all-time peak, that's the most amount of players playing line of sight at any given time, is 309. 
A lot of free-to-play games will have a higher peak than this, usually within their thousands. But of course this is in early access and I do want to stress that Steam Charts isn't exactly 100% reliable it can have discrepancies in the data. Now the all time peak was in September of 2016, that's the month that Line of Sight was released on Steam Early Access. Now the following month of October 2016, the game's all time peak, the most amount of players playing during that month, dropped by 60% to 101 peak players. And then the following month after that, which is November 2016, dropped by 73%, which drop the player base peak to 28 players playing the game. Now as of the last 30 days the player base is increasing as far as peak players are concerned and it will probably increase a little bit up into maybe 200 possibly pushing the 300 all time peak. Now there are two reasons why the player base is currently peaking. The first reason is the game used to cost a lot more to buy into the early access. When you bought into the line of sight early access you would buy the game and a founders pack all combined into one which cost quite a bit of money. Now what they've done is separated the founders pack from the game so the game is now considerably cheaper on its own. It retails for around four great British pounds which is fairly cheap for a game you're paying basically just under a fiver and you can buy the founders pack separately if you want to to support the devs even further but at this time I can't recommend you to do so. The second reason why there's a sudden influx in players is because there's a free weekend going on right now. Now at the time that this video is going up onto YouTube which is Friday the 2nd of December 2016, uh, the free weekend has already started and it's going to continue through until Sunday at 1pm pacific time so if you want to try out this game now's your chance. Now during this free weekend event they're actually discounting the game even further so the game which normally costs £3.99 to just buy the game and get into the early access is now £2.67, uh, it's been minus by 33% and that is a deal that's running until the 5th of December. Now that's just the game itself, you don't really get any bonuses with it, but if you would like to purchase any other kind of packs to support development, there is a Founders Pack which costs $52.99 and there is a Line of Sight Starter Pack which is a lot cheaper which is currently £10. So if you do want to support the devs that option's there, but like I said I can't recommend the game to you and I also would advise you that it has been suggested that this game may go free to play in the future, so only buy into the early access if you want to support development. So I've covered a lot in this video, there's a bit of fact mixed with my opinions and I want to wrap up this video by making my thoughts and opinions clear and concise. Now there's a few reasons why I haven't bought into this early access already, the first reason being that it was designed to be a free to play online first person shooter, a casual game that you hop into, you play a few games and you leave the game and maybe come back to it. If you wanted to take the game a little bit more seriously you'd play clan wars with a group of people and you'd battle another clan. The second reason why I haven't bagged the game and after playing it during the free weekend is because of the gunplay. To me this game is going in the direction of esports and they're making the guns unique, they're adding recoil, bullet drop and it just doesn't feel right. They've completely changed the gameplay from what I enjoyed and loved about Combat Arms Line of Sight and with Line of Sight they've just tweaked it and it's something that's not for me. There are certain games where if I play them after a couple of hours I will go well you know what I don't like this game I'm not playing it anymore. Rainbow Six Siege is close to that line where the gameplay is so odd and so annoying that I don't like that game. I'm not saying that I hate Rainbow Six Siege I do like it it's just it's not a game that I'm fond of playing and Line of Sight kind of as far as gunplay is concerned is much much worse than Rainbow Six Siege. Now just because I feel that the gunplay is worse doesn't mean that the majority of the people who are part of the Line of Sight community feels that way. It's my personal preference as far as first person shooter games are concerned and if the community, the vast majority of the community likes Line of Sight's gunplay and how it plays and they enjoy that then it just shouldn't be changed because of one person's opinion and I respect that they like the game uh, for what it is and that they can play in that environment with that kind of style of gunplay. I can't, I don't like it and that's another reason why I obviously haven't backed 
the early access. Now something that goes in hand in hand with the actual gunplay which has obviously been changed for competitive reasons, competitive standpoints, is the maps and game modes. Now the main competitive game mode in line of sight is search and destroy, it's your classic grab the bomb, take the bomb to a bomb site, blow up the bomb as, a, as the terrorist side and defuse it as the counter-terrorist side. It's similar to CSGO, it's similar to Call of Duty Search and Destroy and any other game that has a competitive bomb planet mode. But you have a casual free-to-play online first-person shooter game that has casual maps and casual modes that aren't designed for competitive play uh, that have got these restrictions because now you've enforced this competitive play style on casual maps and casual uh, game modes, which is not great at all. But again, people will like the gunplay, and if they like the gunplay, then they'll be fine with it in casual. Now, those are the main reasons why I'm not a particular fan of this first person shooter. It's mainly down to personal preference. There are a few things which are legitimate concerns and worries about the game which are to do with performance. Uh, hit registration seems a little off. It seems like there's a bit of weird lag compensation that seems to favour people with high ping. I, I can't explain it. I haven't played too much. I've only played like an hour and a half. But the lag compensation, the hit detection, it just seems a little off. Now, I think the reason behind that is because right now the developers, the people who are making the game, who are self-publishing and are running the servers, don't have good enough servers. The servers are okay and they're doing an okay job, but they're not high-performance gaming servers. They're not designed to take on, uh, I, I guess, the load they're taking on. Um, but... I don't know, if more people back the game then maybe the, they'll be able to sort out the hit registration, uh, fix a bit of the lag compensation and hopefully invest into better servers. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you would like to play this game, the link is in the description below. The free weekend ends on Sunday, 1pm Pacific time. Obviously, if you would like to support the game, you can do so. Remember, it is discounted until the 5th of December. So. I'd get on that now if you are planning on supporting the developers and helping to hopefully make this game better and improve. I'd also like to wish the developers the very best with this game. I hope you can actually make it a somewhat popular game. It has potential, don't get me wrong, it, it has potential, but it's what you do and it's how you advertise the game and it's how you draw your players in because right now that's your biggest problem. You need to get players playing this game. Like I said, personal preference basically dictates that I don't like this game. I do apologise for that, but you do have a decent game. It's just that you need to obviously get a player base in. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this video. As always, the like button is there. Hit that like button if you like this video. Also, if you dislike this video, hit that dislike button. If you have anything you would like to argue regarding this game, then feel free to do so. Also, if you would like to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in my next video.